All right. This is test flight number three, or test recording number three, I should say. Now with audio. And I have tr attempted to position the camera in such a way as they can actually see my HUD. Uh, this heads-up display works just like one in a real jet. Uh, that you have to look through the glass in front of you to actually get it. But without further ado, let's drop the canopy. All right. Now I'm going to slowly roll this out onto the runway. It was a nice, clean right turn. Turn off flight limits, those aren't necessary. All right, we're about lined up here. All right. Now go for takeoff. We're just going to do a few quick flight uh, maneuvers, maybe a little bit of an urban run, and then we're going to come back for a landing. But without any uh, further ado, here we go. Your left stick, your left controller controls the throttle. Um, if you can see my HUD, that yellow bar over there, that is me flat out afterburning. Um, basically as fast as I can go. Your right controller is your joystick, rudder pedals, it's everything. It controls all access, all axes of flight. Now it can be take a little getting used to, but I actually found that after the first few crashes, uh, it starts to become kind of intuitive. Just a uh, muscle memory of how to move your hand around. Uh, both sets of controls are only active when you're holding down the grip button. If you let go of the grip button, uh, they will auto like recenter themselves. Your uh, avatars, models, like your hands, do not actually need to be anywhere near the controls in the cockpit. Uh, as long as you're in the cockpit, when you press the grip buttons, you have control. Like I said, just going for some uh, urban flight and some basic maneuvers here. You're not going to do anything too crazy. Be very embarrassing if I uh, crash this. I, however, am feeling generally pretty good about our chances. Uh, yep, yeah, there we go. This looks harder than it actually is. Uh, this is a pretty easy little stunt there. We'll go ahead and bring ourselves back around. It might not come through, but uh, there's also a G counter on the left side of the HUD. Uh, you should see G with a number fluctuating next to it. Um, I currently have flight limits turned off, so I can exceed what would be fatal G forces. I've I've pegged it at thirteen, fourteen Gs before. Um, I don't think there is an aircraft d designed right now that can exceed 13 or 14 G for uh, 13 or 14 G's without snapping his wings off. That's a, a bit extreme, but we're just here to have fun, right? Oh, my flaps and gear have been down this entire time. Well, that's embarrassing. No wonder we're not getting any speed. All right. Gears up. Flaps are up. Let's bring her around here. We're going to dive down in this valley and do a run into the city. And this is where there should be Bitch and Betty screaming at me, too low terrain, too low terrain, pull up, pull up. But we'll see what happens here. all like I said, just a quick city run. Nothing too fancy here. Oh, yep, there it is. 14 Gs. Okay. <laughs> 14 Gs, I'm a pancake. 
Uh, current speed is Mach 1.24, which means we are, in fact, going supersonic. It's probably why that turn was 14 Gs. Let me back off the throttle just a little bit. Uh, bringing ourselves back around. I don't know if there's anything else we really need to do. We're going to buzz ourselves right under this bridge, actually, because I feel like doing that. And swoop. All right. Uh, let's gain some altitude again. We're going to come back around, and I'm going to attempt the landing. Uh, gain a little more altitude than I expected, but that's fine. Start bringing her back around. Yes. Yes. All right. That's not our landing zone. One of these days, I will actually land at the uh, little runway in front of us, but I'm not feeling it today. Apologize. I'll need to readjust the camera. It looks there is a few whiskers popping in here and there. Probably just a little bit too close to my muzzle, or I could change the uh, my player model. In any case, we're coming in for landing. So, dropping flaps, dropping gear. Going to engage the hook. Get ourselves ready to break. We are coming in pretty hot here. So, actually, I'm going to go ahead and abort it. That's too hot in a bad angle. Well, that's fine. We'll bring her back around. It's very important to me that I actually nail this landing, <laughs> considering my uh, last recording ended with me spattered across the runway. Let's see. You know, we'll go all the way around the mountain. We get a little, get just a little more uh, scenery in here. But as you can see, this world has a lot of uh, things you can fly around and interact with. Um, for all you daredevils out there. All of these planes are equipped with various weapons. Uh, this one has six air-to-air -air missiles, a cannon for uh, close-in wet work, four uh, dumb-fired bombs, and four air-to-ground missiles. Um, ooh, ooh, stall. Yeah, yeah. Got a little too slow on that climb there. But we're in a much better position at a much better speed to make this landing. And slip it in. And we're down. Gauge break. And hook, and we're good. That hook is kind of cheating. <laughs> it's supposed to be a uh, like a carrier hook, but works for me. All right, well, let's go see how that recording turned out. Catch you later.